Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Hello, hello. Let me see, Edwin. Well, I think that he's not there. Hi, Edwin. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine. Thanks. You're fine. Okay, so how was your day? Good evening, Rose. Good evening, Raul. It was busy, really. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So it was busy? Okay. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Okay, Edwin. So good evening, guys. How are you? How do you feel today? A little tired. <laughs> A little bit tired, but today is Thursday. So that's something good, right? We are almost on the weekend. Okay, so let's see. Well, we have Rafael as well. Okay, welcome, welcome. Well, guys, I'm going to Thank start you. telling you good evening. So today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar. Today we have different activities that we are going to cover. So we are going to study could and might to make suggestions, and we are going to study also introducing new items. Okay. So that means that we are going to study pages 14 and 16, okay? Then we also have a speaking time, we have grammar quizzes, and we also have games at the end, okay? So, well, as I was asking you guys, how was your day, Rafael? Ana, good evening. Andrea, how was your day? What did you do? Mm -hmm. Tell me, how was your day? Hello. Uh, for me, uh, was nice day, teacher. Okay, perfect. So it was nice. Um, did you have a busy day or not that busy? Very busy. <laughs> okay, very busy. All right. So, but it was great. That's yeah. the attitude. What about you, Anna? How was your day? I worked to all day. Uh, my day was. Uh, busy busy as well okay yes. so i can see that most of you had a busy day okay mm -hmm. yeah okay let me see carlos good evening let me see we also have fatima okay we have postman we have let me see Eulise. okay good evening teacher good evening how do you feel today carlos Uh, good day. Um, What's a good day? Okay. And, and you, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Yes. Uh, uh, a heavy day for work. For... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, Carlos. So we hope tomorrow is going to be better, right? So, well, today is Thursday. Yeah. So we are, let me see. Yeah. Today is Thursday. So tomorrow is Friday and then, well, I don't know if you work on Saturdays, but if you don't work, then uh, you have the weekend already. Okay, guys. So let me see. Um, okay, Karen, got it. All right. So let's see. We are going to start uh, with today's class. And well, today we are going to start with vocabulary. Okay. So it says, match these words to describe promotional strategies to their meaning, okay? So we are going to start with vocabulary. So what is the meaning of publicity stunts? Where can we add letter A from those definitions, the ones that we have right here? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maybe the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it. Okay, 
Mm, if we add the letter A right there, what about letter E? Okay, so I will say that let's do this in an easy way, okay? So we don't know what is publicity stunts, okay? We don't know. Let's say that we don't know, okay? Let's say that we are in an exam and we don't know, right? Do you know what is the meaning of bundling? Bundling? I what? think that the word I, I listen when you buy, for example, video games or console, they mm -hmm. buy bundle, but oh, bundles, okay. Are right. some 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 different things? Okay, all right. Yes, but in this context, is kind of different. Okay, so now let's see. Um, okay, so let's say that we do, we are not sure. Okay, so we don't know. Let it be. Okay, so let's see, letter C, okay? Public relations. From those definitions that we have right here, where can we add public relations? Any idea? Maybe I, the I, professional mind tends okay. of a favorite public image. Okay. All right. Yes. Actually, letter C is going to be the professional meanings. All right. So letter C. Then we have one. Yeah. Let's see. Perfect. What about? Loyalty offerings. What comes to your mind? Loyalty offerings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see, I think that, good evening, Nelson. Yeah, so we are matching. Um, offering, yeah, go. Offering several products for sale, sale as one combinator product. Okay, all right. Yes, but in that case, from uh -huh. those definitions? Maybe personalized uh, incentives. incentives. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. okay. So personalized, all right, personalized incentives. Yes, that is correct. That is the answer. We already have two, right? Excellent. All right. So we have letter uh, C and letter D, okay? All right. What about sampling? What is sampling? Run those definitions. Mm -hmm. Sampling. The yeah. promotion of a product by distributing okay. samples of it. Yes, okay. So sampling, guys, is like saying in Spanish, muestreo, yeah? So sampling is the promotion of a product by, repeat after me and say, distributing, okay? Distributing samples of it, okay? So we already have letter E, excellent. So we have letter E right here, yeah? Okay, but we are still missing two, letter A and B. Okay, so publicity stunts and bundling. What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think the bundling mm -hmm. is the offering several products for sales as one combined product. Okay. And publicity stunts? What? Publicity stunts? No, the, the letter B. Okay, this one. And then publicity stunts are planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Okay, like this? Yes, excellent. So publicity stunts means Campaña publicitaria. Okay. That is publicity stunts. Mm -hmm. Campaña publicitaria. So it is a planned event, of course, right? It is planned. Designed to attract the public's attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know that bundling, okay, is like paquete. Right? It's like paquete. So is the offering several products, yeah, for sale as one combined product. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. So this is vocabulary that we are going to be using today. All right. So let's move. Let's move. So right now, let me ask you. Okay. So the main topic is introduce new menu items, yeah? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? Would you create publicity stunts? Would you offer sampling? Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? Would you use social media? Would you use brochures? What would you do to introduce a new menu item? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Would you send emails to customers? Would you send um, maybe promotions to WhatsApp? Would you post a status? What would you do? Think about it because you are going to use that vocabulary today, okay? So then what do you think about giving free samples? Samples, muestras, okay? If you go to Super Selecto, sometimes they are giving samples of food, right? So what do you think about giving free samples of new products? Do you think that is a good strategy or no? What do you think? Do you think that that calls your attention whenever you go to uh, probably um, the supermarket or any other place and you see that they are giving samples? Do you think that is a good strategy for companies? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Maybe yes, but uh, depend the product. It depends on the product, okay? Yes, because it's a product for digital platform. Mm -hmm. uh, in in my case, I use uh, a camping. No, a camping. No, uh, ad for Facebook or, or Instagram. Mm -hmm. But if the product is phys physical, like mm -hmm. in a market, okay. I put someone like a publicity stunt. Okay, okay, okay. To, to give uh, samples. Perfect, yes, okay. So, and those are strategies, right? The ones that we use, okay? Then let's move to talk about strategies, all right? So let's talk about strategies to introduce a new menu item. Okay, so let's read the following strategies to introduce a new 
menu item, let's check the box next to the strategies you would consider implementing. Okay, so let's say that we are introducing a new menu item, a new dish, a new uh, pastry, a new dessert, a new beverage, a new drink, a new snack, a new starter. Okay, so let's think about those strategies. Um, Ana, please read the first two. Um, Raul, um, the other two. And the last one, please. Carlos. Okay. Uh, provide provide free food samplings of your new product and add new items to your website. Uh, Raul. Next to me, right? Yes. But the second or, or the three? No, three and four. Ah, okay. Use social network sites to share the information about your new products. Mm -hmm. Four. Ah, okay. Advertise the products in the white space of the recipes. Okay. Uh, number five, Carlos. Give a promotional offer that employs the new <coughs> pardon, the new items to customers after a recent visit. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So in this case, we have five strategies right here. The first one is provide free food samplings of your new products. Would you do that? Yes or no? I will ask you, okay? So think about that one. Then we also have add new items, okay? Pronunciation items, okay? So add new items to your website. If you have a website, a web page, right? So that is an option. That could be a strategy, all right? Add new items to your website. Then we also have number three, use social network sites to share the information about your new products. Would you do that? Yes, no. Why, right? Social network sites. Give me examples of social network sites. Facebook. Facebook. What else? Amazon. Twitter. Okay, Amazon, Twitter. Uh -huh. Instagram. Instagram. Okay, very good. What else? Pinterest. Pinterest. Uh -huh. What else? Whatever website in that com. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. So websites, WhatsApp, TikTok, right? Those are social network sites or synonym social media. Okay. Then we also have number four. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipt. What is the meaning of receipts? No? Any idea? Receipts? Maybe TV? Maybe TV? No. Okay, so receipt is factura. Yes, it's una factura. Factura or it could be recibo. Recibo or factura? A receipt. The receipt is the recibo que le da Cuando usted compra algo, whenever you go and buy something um, in Super Selectos, whatever uh, shopping center, okay? So, and they give you a receipt with the total amount and everything. That is a receipt. That is un recibo. Okay? Recibo. Una factura. La cuenta in the restaurant is bill. Okay? Que viene siendo como una factura, pero le decimos cuenta. Me da la cuenta. Me regala la cuenta. Okay, can I have the bill, please? Right? So then, number five. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Would you give a promotional offer? 
to customers? Would you give uh, different things, items to customers? Would that be your strategy? Whenever you want to introduce a new menu item, yes or no, and why? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's say that you are introducing a new, what, a new drink, yeah, a new drink. What would you do from those strategies? What would you do? Mm, well, uh -huh. Yes. Um, uh, I start to show the, the product in the social media. And after that, I can give more, maybe, uh, the proof that the people uh, test my thing. Okay. Yeah, I think that Carlos would implement the first one. Um, maybe this one or the number three, the third one. He would use, okay, or he could use, or he might use the social network sites to share information about your new products, right? Okay, perfect. All right, so then let's move. And let me see. Okay. So first of all, we are going to move to could and might, grammar, okay? We are going to study grammar right now because you are going to use those two modal verbs, all right? So we have could and might. When do we use could and might? Um, let me see. When do we use could and might, Eulise? Hello? Yes. When do we use could and might according to the information that we have right there on the presentation? Um, it's could is mm, podría okay. and might is, is uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't uh, Vocabulary for this. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, so now help me reading. Uh, okay, we could use social media to spread the word. Okay. And we might use social media to spread the word. Okay, thank you. All right, so when do we use could and might? That's the first question that we need to answer. Okay, so when do we use could and might. So according to the information that we have right here on the presentation, we use could and might to make suggestions. Okay, yeah. Here we have suggestions, okay? But those suggestions are like weak advice, okay? When? When you use the modal verbs could and might. So those are suggestions. Could and might for suggestions, sugerencias, yeah? So we have the structure and we have a structure number one and a structure number two, which is this one, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the first one, as you can see right here, we have the subject, then we also have could, verb in present, and we have the complement and we have the example. We could use social media to spread the word. What is the meaning of spread the word? A spread the word is a phrase that we can use. Mm -hmm. What is a spread, a spread the, wor the word? Expand the word. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. So then if we say we could use social media to spread the word, uh, what Eulisa said, it is correct. Could means podría. And might is, es posible que. Yeah. Podría, es posible que. So, both examples are correct. But there is 
are slightly different, right? So why? Because we have, we could use social media to spread the word. Nosotros podríamos, yeah? We might use social media to spread the word. So that means es posible que nosotros utilicemos las redes sociales para regar la voz, expandir la voz. Okay. So we can use could and might whenever we are talking about strategies. Okay. Strategies, suggestions. Yeah. Could and might. But remember the difference. Could, podría. Might, es posible que. Right? Questions so far? Doubts? Questions? No? Okay. Now, let's move to the book. Right? So we have the explanation from the book. So I need two volunteers, one for could, to explain could, to read this, and the other one is going to read this, might. I will write could. Okay, Wilbur, could. I need another volunteer. Uh, let me see, I'm going to. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, all right. Could, please, Wilbur. You use could to make some suggestions. You could talk to manager to your manager about bundling bundling products for the promotion events. You could uh, generate business in a community events. Thank you. Mine is often used with want to want or like to add how to. How? Politeness. Politeness. And you might want to have a big promotion, even with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotion, even a long a holiday like Black Friday. Thank you. Okay, guys. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation, right? So this word, the one that uh, we have, you could generate business in a community event. 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 Okay. So it says that could, okay, we have could and might. So it says that we use could to make suggestions. Yeah. Suggestions. Yeah. So you could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. I'm making a suggestion, yeah? So, or example number two, you could generate business in a community event. Now, we also have might, yeah? Might, on the other hand, is often used with want or like to add politeness. And what is politeness, guys? Give me a synonym for politeness. A synonym? Kind. Excellent. Yes, kindness, right? Whenever you are kind, yeah? Amabilidad, yeah? Politeness. Yeah, so might is often used with two verbs, want and like, is often used. This doesn't mean that you cannot use might with other verbs. You can use might with other verbs, but it is often uh, used with want or like. And we have, you might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity or you might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like black friday 
So in this case, what you need to remember is that could is often used to make suggestions and might is often used with two verbs, want and like. Yeah, and remember, could, podría, might es posible que. Yeah, so we also have some exercises to see if we have understood this, um, I would say, topic, okay? So we have complete the sentences using could or might, and let's compare the answers with a classmate. But in this case, we are going to take this right here. Number one, we could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. Yeah. What about number two? Could or might? Might. Why might and no could? Because the next is want. Excellent. Okay. Because uh, this, the, the verb that follows, okay, in this case, is want. Okay. So the boss might like that. Yes. Okay. Number three. Could or might? Good. Could. Excellent. It will be could, right? What about number four? Could or might? Might. Might, might right? Why might? Why might and no could? Uh -huh. For the other verbs, like. Excellent. Like. Like. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number five, the event. Might. Cold. 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 Could. All right. Yes. In this case, it's better to use could. Okay. Could be. Mm -hmm. Yes. In number six, the store. Might. Might. Why might and no could? Mm -hmm. oh, better, better. Okay. Want. Want. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. So help me reading the sentences. Okay, help me reading the sentences. Glenda, number one and two. Uh, let me see. Jancy, number three and four. Nelson, five and six. Go, Glenda. Okay, number one. We could drive a car and convert it in programmer around the city. Number two, the boss might want to start the event with a speech. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, the sales team could try to bottle up the food with collective collective modes. Um, <clears throat> number four, the manager might like to launch a new line of kids meals. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Five and six. Nelson, are you there? I think that Nelson is busy. Um, Jennifer Torres. Okay. Thank you. Um, six and four? Oh, five and six. Okay. The evening could be scheduled for Christmas in great size. The store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business one. Okay, thank you. Business with us frequently. Thank you. All right, guys. So yes, then vocabulary, collectible mugs. Do you know what, what are collectible mugs? Do you like collectible mugs?
No idea. Collectible no. noun. Uh, yeah, collectible marks. Sorry, are those um um tax uh, tasas coleccionables? Collectible marks. Do you have? Do you have some? I have. Mm -hmm. If you like, for example, dogs, if you like cats, if you like superheroes, if you like a movie, right? So sometimes you have collectible mugs or collectible, I don't know, other things, right? Collectible uh, uh, pillows, right? Notebooks, I don't know, agendas, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So then we also have bundle up. Bundle up is a phrasal verb, okay? Bundle up. And what is the meaning of bundle up? Bundle up means agrupar. Agrupar. Bundle up. What is the meaning of lunch? What is the meaning of lunch? Lunch, like this, lunch. Lunch? What is lunch? Lanzar, pero... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Es lanzar, pero no de, de launch, de lanzar, right? Because, ¿cómo se dice lanzar de cuando usted lanza algo, pero con su mano? Throw. Throw. Excellent. Throw. Very good. Throw. Throw. Yes. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. So then, vocabulary, right? Um, let me see. What else? Well, do not forget, okay? Do not forget the first thing. Could with any other verb and might with want or like. Could, podría, might, es posible que. Yes, do not forget that. All right. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? No? Okay, so then let's move, all right? But I think that I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present when you hear your name. So here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos? Carlos Alberto? No, okay. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Torres? Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias? Present. Eh, thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya? Cesar? Edwin Antonio Quinteros? Present. Thank you, Edwin. Eh, Ulise Torres Torres? Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Uh, yeah, I think that we cannot hear you, but I can see you. Okay. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Yes. Here I am. Thank you, Jose. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Yeah, thank you, Josman. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Juan Francisco. Okay. Karen Lisette Sanchez. Karen. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Well, I saw Nelson. Yeah, I think Nelson is busy. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Rafael. Raúl Ernesto González. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you, Raúl. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Yeah, I saw Rosa. Present. Thank you. Eh, Susana Milena. And Susana? I haven't seen Susana. Okay. Walter David Díaz, Walter, Wilber Alberto Pérez, 
Yeah, thank you. And Jency Azucena Sanchez. Yeah, I saw Jency. I don't see. Present. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jency. All right. Let's continue, guys. Okay. Writing time. Let's create one sentence using could and one sentence using might and send them to the chat, okay? Make sure you do not forget to use a capital letter to start the sentence and a period to end it, okay? So two sentences, two sentences and send them to the chat. Aquí en Zoom, en el chat de Zoom me las manda, las dos. One with could and one sentence with might, okay? One and one. If you have questions, ask me, please. Okay, let me see. Could you lend me? An eraser. An agency. Could I have your phone number, Kate? If I wake, I, if I wake up early every day, I could go to the gym in the morning. Yes. Um. But period at the end, Raúl, period, okay, at the end of the sentence, punto y final, okay. And a coma, como se utiliza en un condicional, tiene que poner una coma separando las dos oraciones. Yeah, could I have some tea? Okay, Jennifer. Yeah, mm -hmm. But remember that it's not a question, it's a sentence. I can see that many of you um, have written questions, but no sentences. The boss told me that tomorrow we... Okay, um, Glenda, in this case, the boss told me that tomorrow Okay, that, that is correct. The boss told me that tomorrow. But if we say, could be the meeting, podríamos ser la reunión. Oh, or the idea. Uh -huh. The idea is not clear. Wilbur, I could be early at work, at work tomorrow. I could be early at work tomorrow. <laughs> but I don't see. Okay. 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 Yes, Wilbur. It's it is okay. We could visit the party. We might like. We might like. Um, in this case, Anna, we need to remove like because, um, I mean, if we say we might like, no, uh, es posible, es posible que nos, que nos guste usar el bus mañana. Esa es la idea que queremos dar a entender. O es posible que utilicemos o usemos el bus el día de mañana. Ajá. My friend could start the business on Monday in the morning. Okay. You could help me with homework. Okay. She might like to visit, Jency, uh, to visit without S. Remove letter S. Okay. We might like, uh, we might like, okay, to visit my grandma's house. I could order pizza today, but it's late. Okay. The boss told me that tomorrow the meeting, okay. I might call. I might to call. No, remove two. 
Just I might call. I might call the clients tomorrow. She might be the principal. She may be the principal, the, the principal, the principal player, the principal what? And they cook, they could cook a chicken for their mother. Okay. I might want to run three days on foot. Okay. Yes, yeah, Salvador. Good. My mother might want to buy at price more. Okay. My friend might want to buy a car. I could be early at work, but I could I could be early at work tomorrow, but I don't think so. Okay. I might go out to I might go out for a walk. For a walk. They could visit the beach next Sunday, okay? You could return, okay, return, return, okay. Mm. Return, remove O, remove the letter O. They might like, okay, could you open the wind, okay. Could you open the window, window with W at the end, no M, W. I must see that problem tomorrow. Okay, I might want to drive a car. I might like to, to lose weight. The letter E is missing, Linda. Lose. Letter E is missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Mm. I'm going to make some observations. This is so important. Okay, guys. Um, tomorrow. Okay, so right now, let's pay attention, guys. I'm going to explain something because this is so important. This is crucial, okay? Whenever you want to say that something is really important, instead of saying this is really important, you can also say this is crucial, okay? Crucial. Crucial is really important, okay? So this is crucial for us. Why? Because we need to learn how to write properly, okay? So the first thing, I'm going to make some observations, but this is for you to improve your writing, okay? This is for you to improve your writing. So pay attention. Okay, so on sentence number one, it says, I might to call to the client tomorrow. Okay, the first thing, guys, is that whenever we use might, we cannot use to. No, not to. It's just might plus verb. Okay, so that is I might call, and instead instead of saying to the client, let's remove to, and let's say I might call the clients tomorrow. So if you say I I call to you or I might call to my mom or I might call to my dad or I might call to my sister? No, to no. Okay, it's just I might call my sister, I might call my mom, I might call my dad, I might call my boss, I might call my supervisor, yeah? Never I might to call, never, never, never. No to, okay? That is the first observation. Now, number two, it says, could you open the window? I might see that problem tomorrow. I, I think that those are two sentences. Creo que aquí me la pusieron junta, las dos oraciones, okay? Right. So this one, could you open the window? Well, in this case, window, okay? That is the first observation. And then the second observation is that whenever you have 
a subject, like in the second place, como lo tenemos acá, el sujeto no va en mayúscula, va en minúscula. Okay. Could you open the window? Okay. Now, I might see that problem tomorrow. This is correct, okay? That is correct. Now, what about this one? Well, I'm going to, to remove this one because that one was correct. What about this one? They could visit the beach next Sunday. This one is incorrect for two reasons. The first one is, this is not capital letter. When I say capital letter, I mean letra mayúscula. So this is not capital letter. We need to add capital letter. Now, it says they could visit the beach next Sunday. La segunda razón por la cual es esto incorrecto es porque recuerde que los proper nouns, nombres propios, siempre van con letra mayúscula. Y los días de la semana son proper nouns. ¿Ok? Tiene que ir con letra mayúscula. So they could visit the beach next Sunday. Now, number two. I might go to the eat ham hamburger tomorrow in the lunch. Okay, so this one has um, many areas of improvement. The first one, la primera, es que never, but never, guys, never, okay? Add I, este pronombre I es el más sagrado. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted dice I es yo, ¿verdad? Es usted mismo, I. Yo. Y yo siempre voy a hacer lo más importante. El inglés es así también. Nunca podemos poner la, el, el pronombre I con minúscula. No importa en qué posición vaya. Este pronombre siempre va a ir con la letra mayúscula. Si usted lo pone aquí, mayúscula. ¿Ok? Al contrario de los demás, que los demás sí pueden ir con letras minúsculas. Pero I never, porque es lo más importante, usted. ¿Ok? So now, I might go to eat. I might go to eat hamburger tomorrow. Uh, whenever we talk about meals, ¿ok? Whenever we talk about meals, we need to use the preposition at. At, never in. So, I might go to eat hungry tomorrow at lunch. So, teacher, so that means that I need to say at breakfast, at dinner, at lunch. Correct. Never in the breakfast, never in the dinner, and never in the lunch. The preposition is at. Okay, that is the other uh, thing that you don't need to forget. Yeah. Now, this one is still incorrect. Why? Because remember that we need to add period at the end of the sentence. In English, we need to respect punctuation marks. And if you do not add period, if you do not add period, those sentences, even though they seem to be correct, they are not correct. So you are going to get zero. Teacher, but todas están bien escritas. No, but el puntito que no le ha puesto, la hace incorrecta. Y por lo tanto, en un examen evaluado, usted tiene cero. Cero. So, period, this is a question. Number two is a question. So question mark, period, and period. Yeah? You need to get used to this. Tiene que acostumbrarse a utilizar los signos de puntuación. Teacher, but in Spanish, it sounds like you are angry. ¿Se ha fijado que cuando usted pone el punto en español, es como que estuviera enojado? But in English, no. In English, no. Okay? So then... You need to add period. All right. Do you have any question? Any doubt? No? Tomorrow we are going to, to take a quiz and you are going to correct the sentences. Okay? And I'm going to, well, I have explained many rules right now. 
So I hope you remember tomorrow. Ok. Usted va a corregir las oraciones que vamos a poner mañana. Ok. So now let's move. All right. Let's move to the book. All right. We have a steps in action plan. What is an action plan, guys? The ones that know about action plans. What are action plans? In your companies, what is an action plan? When do we use action plans? Mm -hmm. When they have a problem or for, uh, how do you say prevenir? To prevent. To prevent the problem, maybe. Okay, perfect. Excellent, all right. So yes, when you have a problem or whenever you want to um, improve something, right? Or to prevent a problem, okay? Yes, that is correct, okay? So guys, but in this case, since we are focusing on restaurants, okay? On restaurants, an action plan could be also a strategies, okay? Action plan is a synonym for a strategies, yeah? So then we have some examples, okay? And some steps that we need to follow to create an action plan, yeah? And what are the steps? What are those, um, yeah, the order that we need to follow? What questions should we answer to create an action plan? So as you can see right here, we have A, B, C, D, and E, and e sorry. So we have the definition. We have the definition, okay? So let's see. Uh, let's number the following steps of the action plan. Okay, so number one, letter A, what action or change will happen? What action or change will happen? So we have the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February or the chef created the recipe for the drink, the manager approved of it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. We also have advertising board and the staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. We also have number four, the manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with, how do you pronounce this word? Mm -hmm. Herbs. Okay. So that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. And the last one, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. So guys, which of these, um, I would say options, answer letter A. In an action plan, okay? A strategies. Let's see, what action or change will happen? What is the new thing? What is some? What is um, the new, a new drink? A new okay. drink is going to be introduced to the medium. Excellent, okay. So we have letter A already. That is going to happen, right? So a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Perfect. Who will carry out? that new introduction the Ooh. chef created the receipt for the drink okay very good excellent so the chef created the recipe how do you say receta you say it recipe okay recipe. perfect so for the drink perfect yes the chef okay what is the meaning of carry out give me synonyms carry out mm -hmm. carry out means complete ok 
okay? It's like do something. Carry out means llevar a cabo. Implement, very good, okay? Implement, a complete, do, yeah? Llevar a cabo, perfect, the chef. El chef, right? Letter C, when will it take place and for how long? Advertising board and stuff. Okay. Mm, are you sure? The manager. The manager? Mm, no, it will be available during Valentine's Day. Yes. Okay. Very good. For how long? Promotion yes. For how long? Through February. Perfect. Okay. What about question uh, number four? What resources, what resources are needed to carry out the change? What resources? What is the meaning of resources? Recursos. Mm -hmm. The manager requests extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat fair, but they are not very expensive. Excellent. That is correct. Yeah. Um, and communication, who should know what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last one, right? This one, letter E. So those are the steps for you to create an action plan for you to create a strategies whenever you are going to introduce a new product, a new item, something new. Those are the steps that you need to follow, okay? Do you have questions? Do you have questions about this? No? Yes? Maybe? No? Okay, so if you don't have questions, right now we are going to work in teams, okay? So what are you going to do? Well, we are going to use all of the things that we have learned and we are going to create, all right? It's your turn, yeah? We are going to create an action plan. An action plan, okay? You are going to be in pairs. In this case, I think that we are going to make trios, right? And we are going to use the steps, those steps, those steps, okay? Uh, and you are going to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant, okay? You are going to de define the strategies you will use in your action plan. And then you are going to share that presentation to the class. I have created an example, okay? Aquí les he puesto un ejemplo. Eso ya son con los pasos ordenados, okay? So example. So I, I uh, chose a dessert. That was my example, but you need to choose something else. You can choose food, guys, but if you don't want to introduce food, you can introduce a new product, a new item, a new something else, okay? If you don't want to talk about food, it's okay. It's okay, right? So then a new dessert is going to be introduced to the menu. That is the first one. What action or change will happen? So what will happen is this one. A new dessert is going to be introduced to the menu. Yeah, who will carry out this? Who, who? The chef, the chef, because he will create the recipe for the dessert. In this case, the chef created the recipe 
for the dessert. The manager approved it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Yeah. Let us see when will it take place and for how long? Well, the dessert will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Or you can say, no, I want that promotion to continue the whole year. That is your choice. Use your creativity. Okay. Then letter D. What resources are needed to carry out the change? ¿Qué recursos necesitamos para llevar a cabo este cambio, este nuevo producto? ¿Qué recursos se necesitan? Well, first of all, funding, el dinero. ¿verdad? So the manager requested extra funding for this project. The dessert is made with flour, chocolate, and jelly. What is jelly, teacher? Jalea. But they are not very expensive. Okay. And letter D, sorry, letter E, communication. Who should know what? Well, ¿quién debe saber todo esto? The advertising board, las personas de la publicidad. The advertising board and the staff, of course, will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the dessert. You are going to create one action plan like this based on your product, based on the item that you would like to introduce. Yeah? Do you have any doubt? Do you have any question? No? Okay. Make sure... You answer all of the questions. Make sure all of the questions are answered. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. In order. Like following the sequence of the questions. Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, and letter E. Okay? You are going to present this. I will give you around eight to ten minutes. Okay? You are going to work um, on teams. If you cannot participate, because I know that some of you are busy, I'm not sure, let me know, okay? So let me know, here we go. Salvador, are you there? Salvador? Mm. Eh, teacher, yes. eh, me deja compartir este. Ah, yes, of course. Give me one second. Okay, eh, okay try now. Yes, thanks. Okay, perfect. All right, do you have any doubt?
this. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué decía Rivita? Solo quiero leer esa parte, lo que dice al principio. Yes. Okay, okay. Production. First of all, you need to decide the product that you are going to introduce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you, you continue, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dice Andrea que ahorita está... Ah, me está como oyendo ahorita ya, entonces. Okay. Si gusta, empecemos a crear por lo menos el cuadro para que con la primera pregunta. Okay. Do you have any doubt right now? No, no, eh, estamos viendo que podemos promocionar. Ahorita estamos viendo que vamos a empezar ya con el producto. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Uh -huh. right. eh, um, hagamos una cosa que... Hello. Hi, guys. Do you have any Hi. doubt? Hi. Do you have any doubt? Uh, no. no, no, este, the, uh, Glenda, explain me my oh. doubts. No, oh, explain to me. <laughs> explain to me my the 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 something I I can understand. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. All right, guys. Okay. Do you have the product that you are going to advertise or no yet? I have an idea. Oh, you have the idea. Okay. But maybe Rafael is not sure with me, with my idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so talk about that, Brian, decide then. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay. Uh, it's out. And it's changed in dessert for... for um, a snack. What? Sería cambiar dessert. For a snack. Ah. Mm -hmm. For a snack. Yeah, could work. But what kind of a snack? Um, for the hamburger, for example. Okay. French fries with with something yes. else. I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay, a snack. Okay, perfect. A snack is okay if you want. Okay. The next. The chef grade two receive. For the snack, he was the snack and the manager. The manager will put the bus, the bus approved it, and the, and the social media staff will be responsible. To, to mm. Quiero cambiar la palabra market por otra. And the social media staff will be responsible to the strategy in the social media in the social in the social media mm -hmm. poner. the chef create the recipe for the snack mm -hmm. the bus the bus approve it mm -hmm. 
and the social media stuff will be responsible. This project is it the same? The on the on the Facebook in the so social web. Al final, ah, but is the chip create the recipient of the snack, the boss approve it, and the social media staff will be responsible to the strategy on the Facebook. On Facebook. Yeah, in, let's see. When will it take? for the long the dessert will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continue through we almost one hour the hamburger will be and the snacks. Ah, the snack will be mm -hmm. available during the yeah. the Mother's Day. Okay. Be beautiful. Mother, mother days, not mothers, mothers day in a promotion. Okay. A promotion that continues through, through May. That continues to May. And what resources are needed to carry out the change? Sorry, me quedé siento se me que acabó el lapicero y tuve que ir a buscar otro. Ah. Era, will be it take. Ah, no. The, the snack will be available during Mother's Day in a promotion that continues through May. Mm -hmm. Birdie. Okay. In the next, yes. the bus while for the project, the dessert is made with flavor, chocolate, and yellow, but they are not very expensive. Hmm. Pudiéramos poner the chef require no request mm -hmm. uh, the chef request Ah, the the chef request request uh, 
a special ingredient for the for the snack and the snack is made with uh black chocolate uh, honey and it's very delicious <laughs> no Espérate que ni lo escribí, solo lo estaba inventando. Entonces... <risa> Yo la iba notando, pero no me quedé. The chef, espérate. Si sí, sí me recuerdo. The chef request a special, an special. Ah, a special. Really? Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, sí. <risa> a special, right. A special ingredient for the snack. Yes. For the snack and but extra extra funding is a uh, uh, fondo extra, extra fondo for this project. For this project for funding. It's like uh, funding, maybe. Funding. Funding is this is funding. como más fondos, dinero, más dinero, algo. Yeah, money. Ah, money. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Request could be extra funding. Funding for this, for this, for this, or for the period. Okay. Hmm. To buy the change, we can add uh, to buy a uh, extra chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extra chicken and and cheese because the tacos. And you can cook with. Uh, Cheese, right? Cheese. Yes. And... Hey, chair. Yes. In this question, what resources are needed to carry out a, a change? Okay. We are talking about... Hmm, ¿Cuál fue la palabra, compañera Andrea? Patrocinado. Patrocinio, ajá. O como conseguir, The event will ajá. be sponsored. O no, no sé si es así. Sponsored. Um, uh -huh. Well, the resources are, yes, could be, okay, but the resources are recursos. For example, sponsors, eh, probably because you need to buy ingredients, uh, money, los recursos. O, o, que o, obten obtener patrocinio. Ah, más que todo eso. Es como un ejemplo. Yes. Bueno, un recurso puede ser mm, patrocinio, sí, para los productos que van a utilizar en el... En, 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 sí, yes. Pero ¿cómo lo... O sea, ¿cómo, cómo se escribe? Patrocinio. No sé si tiene algunas palabras. Um, ok, let me see. Como patrocinadores. Sí, correcto. Yes. Okay, so uh, a sponsor, that's S P O S S P O N S O R a sponsor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be um, to get a sponsor. Yes, yeah, to get yeah. sponsor. Um, oh no, uh, sponsors like like the one that, that Wilbur has on the screen. Ah, okay. Sponsor, ese es el verbo. 
Okay. Se mandó es un verbo, pero el, el sponsor es como el noun, es como el como patrocinador. Ajá. Okay. Look at the sponsors. Yes. Okay. What other resources? Yes. Uh, uh -huh, we are thinking about it. Okay. Sponsors, probably, um, let me see what else. Money? No. Yes, I uh have. -huh. But I think uh, the sponsor, uh, when, uh, uh, they give you money too. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. All right. O sea, sí, me refiero a que lo, eh, los patrocinadores, pues, pues directamente solo se encargan de qué necesitas, what do you need. Yeah, that is true. Ay, but in general, uh, in general. Okay, very good. No. Okay. Uh, what it says, the marketing department. Who will carry out the marketing department? ING. Uh, when will it take place in Fort Lauderdale? In a prestigious warehouse. February. February. Yes, okay. February, capital letter F. Word teacher. Uh, February. When uh, February. We, okay. Yeah, excellent. And let me see. Uh, exactly like that. Resources. Um, what resources? Resources. Uh, the second S is not S, it's letter C. Uh -huh. Resources. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank All you, right. teacher. Okay. The last. I Lounge. Ah, uh, lounge. I understand that. Work. Well, lounge? K U N C H. Lunch. Yes. To launch the new hamburger. Do you like hamburgers? Yes, I like. I like hamburgers. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So launch the new hamburger. Oh, we finish. You finish? Perfect. You know, Raul, I want you to take a picture of the things that you wrote and send them to the WhatsApp group. I would like to see the writing. And you as well, Rose. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know because I don't say. Um, yeah. Estoy conectada a mi teléfono. No puedo. Compartirla yo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. So, Raúl, you, please. Ok. Well. Give me a second. Ok.
Okay. Let me see. Down. Pardon for my <laughs> letter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't worry, okay? Yeah, I just want to see if you if you have written correctly. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Let's go back. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Teacher, you are mute. Thank you. All right. So first team, we have Andrea and Wilbur. Do we have Andrea and Wilbur? No, not yet. Anna, Hosman, and Jensi? No, yet. Okay. Uh, Carlos and Karen? Yes. Yeah. So the two Carlos, Carlos Arias and Carlos Eduardo. Okay, go, guys. I want you to present your your uh, new item. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Uh, we have this this restaurant Bravo Chicken Tacos, mm -hmm. and the step one is uh, the product is chicken tacos, all you can eat. This is the product. And we introduce to the menu. The step two, we ask to the chef the recipe, recipe for the tacos. True. True. Step True. three, True. we can launch the product on Valentine's Day and we have the promotion all year. Step four, the manager requests extra funding to buy extra chicken and cheese and a lot of tom tomatoes. Step five, we communicate to the in charge, to the social media and the website and give the promotion. Okay. okay. I think that that is so that interesting. Is so it is so interesting. Okay, so then observation, okay? Pronunciation, guys. Valentine's, okay? Valen Valentine's. Yeah, the Valentine's Day. And, okay, let me see. Um, uh, the spelling of chicken. Chicken is C H I C. Ah, okay. C. Like that. Okay, perfect. I think that we are going to go to eat tackles. And I think that, that that is a good strategy that you are going to launch the product on that day. That is okay. a good strategy, of course. Yeah, you, you will have a lot of customers. Okay, perfect. All right. Awesome. Then let's see. Um, Nelson, Raúl, and Rose. Okay, go. Only the the, the question or both? Mm, both. Okay. What action or chain will happen? A new hamburger is going to be introduced to the menu. Who will who will eat out? The chef create the recipe. <laughs> the chef create the recipe for the snack, and the boss approve it. And social media staff will be responsible to the strategy on the Facebook. Okay. When will it take? Uh, place and for how long mm -hmm. the snack will be available during Mother's Day in a promotion that continues through May and what resources are needed to carry out the, the chain. Mm -hmm. The chef requests a special ingredient for the hamburger the hamburger is made with uh, plant meat and cheese and is very de delicious. Okay. And communication, who should know what? Mm -hmm. The social media staff and the chef will stay in communication to carry out the steps to launch the new hamburger. Okay. Thank you. All right. Recipe. How do you say receta? Recipe. Okay. 
recipe. Okay, very good. Cesar, Glenda, Jennifer, and Rafael. Who will present? Mm -hmm. From Cesar Amaya, Glenda Toledo, Jennifer Torres, and Rafael. Alexander. Okay, I... Okay. okay, Glenda, go. Okay, uh, our promotion is buy one make course and get another one free. Mm -hmm. uh, the plan is letter A, buy one make course and get another one free. And the letter B, the waiter going to explain the customer about the new promotion and those two days in a specific hour, hours. Okay. I will send the picture. Okay. Okay. And letter C, if they visit on Sunday and Wednesday, the hour 6 to 6 p.m., they could get this promotion. And letter D, the manager requests extra funding for this project and have too much food because the customer eating from two or more of my courses. <laughs> and the end, advertising board of this and staff, they come to use the social media for promotion. Okay, I think that, that is a good um, a strategy as well. But uh, I just have one, one observation, letter D. It says, because the customers are going to eat. The customers are going to eat from two or more main courses, okay? Are going to eat, are going to eat. Are going to eat, and I'm seeing. And on letter C, where it says, if they visit on Sunday and Wednesday between, between the hours, okay, between the hours six to 10, okay, they could get, yeah. Uh, and yes, and, and letter E, advertising board and staff, they are going, they are, they are going. And letter B, the waiter is going. Okay, perfect, thank you. I think that is a good um, promotion, okay? Okay, so, uh, Sunday and Wednesday, okay, perfect. Yeah, excellent, thank you. All right, so Ana Lorena, Jancy, and Houseman. And they get ready, um, Andrea, Fatima, Salvador, and Wilbur. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you see? Yes. Uh, the product is address. Uh, level A and the address is going to be introduced to April's catalog. Oh, catalog? Catalog. Uh, level B, designer created the rest, the manager approve it, and marketing department will be responsible advertising campaign. Mm -hmm. Letter C, the dress will be able during April's month before Mother's Day. Uh, Letter D, the president campaign requests new funding for this product. Mm -hmm. um, the dress need cotton and bottoms. Okay. E, little e, the marketing department will stay in communication through social media, a specific Facebook and Instagram to introduce the new cat catalog. Catalog. Okay. I think that is a smart. Okay. That is a smart because you are going to introduce that address before Mother's Day. Yes. 
Yes, that is smart, okay? The purpose is um, actually mom, right, buying that. All right, then observation, um, letter D, it says the dress needs, letter S, needs, third person, the dress. Then letter E, Instagram, capital letter, Instagram, capital letter, okay? And then let's go to where it says through, letter E, communication through. I remove the letter, well, through, 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 through. Let me see, through, removed, yeah. True. No. Uh, <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and add through, like T H T H R O. Mm -hmm. U G H G H like that. Perfect. Okay. Um excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes. Well done. Okay, the last team. The last team before we move on. Um Andrea, Fatima, Salvador, and Wilbur. Give me a moment, teacher. Yes, okay. 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 In the meantime, I'm going to uh, take attendance again. All right, say present. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Carlos Francisco. Present. Thank you, Cesar Homero. Cesar Present. Homero. Okay. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Cesar. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Edwin. Edwin. Okay. Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Thank you. José Salvador Bernal. Here I am. Thank you. Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Karen Lisset. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Catherine Indira, Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Alexander. Present. Rafael, thank you. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, eh, Rosa del Carmen. Rose. Well. Present. Thank you, Susana Milena Cruz. Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. Walter David. And Jancy Azucena Sanchez. Present. Thank you. Okay. Wilber, you may go ahead. No sé si se ve todo bien o hay sombra. Mm. Todavía no se ve. Yeah, we cannot see. Yeah, Va. we can we can see it. Yeah, now yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The first one. What action or change will happen? Yeah. The answer. A new cell phone is going to introduce to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, who will carry out? The marketing department is going to be responsible. Uh, where will it take place and for long? And for how long? In a prestigious uh, warehouse during whole February. What resources and are needed to carry out the change? Mm -hmm. uh, to get sponsors. Mm -hmm. And the last one, communication, who should know what? And the answer, 
using social networks uh, like your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, a TV commercial, a uh, radio commercial. Okay, very good. I just have some observation with communication, double M. And in this case, um, remember that whenever we talk about um, proper nouns, they are capital letter. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, TV, capital letter. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys. Um, very good. I think that uh, you have done a great job. Okay, you have um, actually completed everything in the uh, best possible way, okay? So right now, what we are going to do is the following, okay? We are going to take the listening quiz for today, okay? We are going to take the listening, the listening practice. So let me send it here, here in the chat. That is a link, that is a link. And the passcode is listen, okay? Listening in capital letters. Once you are in, let me know. Add your full name, please, full name. Okay, guys. Oh. Let me know once you're ready, please. Great. Ready? Okay. Ready. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, who is missing? Me. Who is... Okay, Wilbur. Glenda, okay. I am. I am ready. Okay, perfect. I am ready. All right. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to play it twice if you need an extra time. So let me know, okay? So here we go with the first time. Pay attention. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <gasps> Jacob? <gasps> Hi. Uh, you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold, and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck. That sounds awful. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for, t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I... I I, we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. The second time. All right. Okay. Thank you, James. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <clears throat> Jacob? <clears throat> Hi. Uh, you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck. That sounds awful. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I, 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 we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh. Uh, Okay, awesome. Do you need an extra time or no? Done. Done. Okay, perfect. Send your answers. Let me see this course. Let me see. Was it difficult or easy? Piece of cake. A piece of cake. All right. Okay. So I can see that most of you got 100. Okay. Perfect. 
Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. I can see that most of you got 100. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So let me see. I'm still missing some of you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. 80%, but that is not bad. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Yes. I can see that some of you got 100 and some got 80. Okay. So, but, okay. All right, guys. Then I think that you are really good at, at, at listening. Okay. And that is really nice. Okay, guys. So now I need three volunteers. I need three volunteers and we are going to play something, okay? What are we going to play? Well, this is called doing miming with verbs. Yeah, doing miming with verbs. I'm going to give you the verbs and you are going to do miming. Yeah, okay. So I need two, no, three, three volunteers. Okay, Glenda, you are the first one. Okay, Anna, you are the second one. And Nelson. Okay, do not uh, just uh, leave the hand uh, like that. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so Glenda, let me see, Glenda. Glenda, those are the ones that you are going to to describe doing uh, miming, okay? Anna, those are yours, Anna. And uh, give me one second. Um, Nelson, okay, Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Let me see. Okay, those are yours, okay? So I will give you one minute, all right? One minute, and we need to guess, guys. All of us need to guess, okay? Glenda, you go first, then Anna, and then Nelson, okay? So here we go, ready? Okay, one, we need to guess the verb, okay? We need to guess the verb. One, two, three, go, Glenda, go. Drink. Yes. Oh. Drink. Yes. Next. Throw. Catch. 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 Yes. Sleep. Sleep. Yes. Very good. Jump. 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 Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. Excellent. Mix. No. Roll. Shake. No. Preparing. No. Cook. No. Cooking. Yes. Cook. Yes. Cook. Yes. The last one. That's all. That's all. Um, yeah. No. Okay. He has one more. To run. No. Diary. No. Dance. No. Dancing. No. Confused. Diary. <laughs> Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Very good, Glenda. Okay, Anna, go. Sing. Yes. Very good. Sing. Sing. Oh my God! Um, yes. <laughs> It right. right, right, yes. Paint, no. Right. Twenty. See. See. Watch. 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 Excellent. Very good. Okay. Anna is done. Very good, Anna. Okay. Perfect. Nelson, the last one. One, two, three, go, Nelson. Where is the verb? 
I, I send it uh, in the chat, in su, in su chat. No? No. Nelson? Ah. Yes? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, go. Right. 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 Move. 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 Love. 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 Yes. Love. 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 Talk. Knock. 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 Jump. Jump. Yes. Right, 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 order, mm -hmm. type, no, right, mm. uh, pay, no, pay order, <laughs> think, next, next, next. You're not time. What is that? Time. Yes, okay. Time. <laughs> what was it? Okay. Nelson? Uh huh. The last give. one. Give. Ring. Which one? Give. 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 Okay. Give. Very yes, good. What is, what okay. is the do? The, do. But yes, that was difficult. That was yes. Difficult. Yeah. Do the homework. <laughs> the the, the uh, do was difficult. Yes, that yeah. was difficult. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask randomly. Uh, Rafael, what is your favorite color? Uh, the yellow teacher. Why, Rafael? Um, I don't know. Uh, I like it, the stronger colors. Okay, all right. Perfect. Hosman, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Why blue? Uh, because it's, it's beautiful for me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Salvador, what is your favorite shopping center? Metro Centro. Why Metro Centro? Uh, the, there is a lot of tiendas, no sé cómo se dice. There are a lot of stores. Say it. Dígalo. The, there is a there lot are, of stores. There are. Uh, there are. A lot of. A lot of. Stores. Stores. Excellent. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo, do you like hiking? No, I don't like hiking. In fact, uh, I have not hiking, hiked, or hiking. I don't know if the verb. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, before. Okay. All right. So then, um, Wilbury, what is your favorite shopping center? Mm, I have no favorite shopping center. Oh, okay. You you do not have. So do no. you like hiking? No, I don't like it. I prefer stay at home. You prefer staying at home, okay? Yes, perfect. Um, let me see. Anna, eh, what advice would you give someone who is failing in their studies? What advice? If I say to you, Anna, Anna, I got five on my exam. What advice would you give me? Maybe I don't have enough time for a study. Oh, okay. But what what advice would you give me? Uh, I don't understand. Okay. Then let's see. Raul, what advice would you give me if I say, hey, you know what, Raul? I'm failing on my exam, right? I'm failing. I got... Um, 
in in a study or what? Ah, okay. That don't worry because it's only a a number. But okay. if you if you try to to learn and learn and practice, maybe the next time you will. Eh, no sé cómo Get puedo decir sacar una mejor nota. Saca... Get a better score. ¿Cómo? Get a better score. Ah, you will get a better score. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So tomorrow we are going to continue practicing with advice, modal verbs, could and might. All right. So, but very good, Raul. That was a good way to answer. Okay. So before we go, if you don't have any question, okay, uh, please complete your exercises on the platform. Do not forget about your homework. Okay, please, guys. Then if you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much for joining and being responsible. The only one that stay with me, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Okay, okay. you stay with me. Then the other yeah, one, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. I know. Okay. Um, Carlos. Uh, today it, it's my turn. I check. Uh, it was tomorrow. <laughs> oh yes, but the thing is that you know the one that we had oh, before yeah. with you. Ah, okay. You can connect. Ah, okay. Yeah, he didn't connect. Okay, so Carlos, okay. here you have this feedback. I don't know if you prefer to have it in English or Spanish, okay? In which language do you feel more comfortable to give the feedback mm. that I'm going to request? Maybe in Spanish. Yes. Okay, Carlos. So, so in Spanish, okay? Un poquito de inglés, un poquito de español. Okay, Carlos, so I would like to know about you. I would like to know about you. I would like to know if you have studied English before, if you um, have taken classes with us before, what do you think about our classes? Do you like our classes? You don't like our classes? Do you have any type of suggestion? All of that. Mm, okay, bueno. Eh, este, primero, sí, he estudiado inglés antes. Okay. Este, he estudiado, bueno, desde el 2012 estoy estudiando inglés uh -huh. y siento que sí me ha costado bastante. Eh, he repasado bastantes academias y no solo uno o dos meses, sino que ocho o nueve meses. Uh -huh. este, estuve en la Academia Europea, en English for Call Center en Open English, en ProLingua, en Speak, uh -huh. eh, y bueno, de todo he aprendido un poco. Sí. Aparte de eso, también estoy trabajando en Teleperformance. Sí. Ajá, sí, estoy trabajando ahí, estoy trabajando en un, unos meses, estoy trabajando en Hilton, y otras estoy trabajando en FedEx. Ok. Pero este, siempre me ha costado el inglés, Yo, es como en, en el call center repetitivo, el vocabulario. Entonces uno se mantiene ahí. Ya cuando uno quiere, digamos, por ejemplo, hablar otras cosas, sí. le cuesta porque no es, no es lo mismo. Okay. Ajá. Y siento que, la, por ejemplo, la, la, así como lleva usted las clases, de, sí. de que hablamos bastante, me gusta. Porque me siento como un poquito más cómodo estar este, hablando o, ajá, o estar haciendo ejercicios así. Okay. Bueno. Perfecto. Um, muy bien. ¿Cuál es la parte que siente que más le ha costado de todo ese tiempo que ha estado estudiando el idioma? Mm, quizás, como la mayoría de gente me dice, tener más vocabulario me cuesta. Ajá, tener, ajá, tener más vocabulario. Porque ya he hecho entrevistas yo en inglés. Por ejemplo, la vez pasada hice una entrevista eh, para un puesto de informática, porque este, soy técnico, okay. entonces, pero 
no tenía muchas palabras que me enfrasqué en, en decir casi lo mismo. Me hacían muchas preguntas y, y siempre venía a salir a lo mismo. Entonces siento que, que me hace falta como más vocabulario, no sé, este, expandir más eh, lo que hago. Okay. Eh, sí, bueno. Eh, ¿Tiene algún hobby? ¿Algo que hace en su tiempo libre? Eh, sí. Eh, a mí me gusta ver películas y series. Ok. ¿En a veces veo, ajá. ajá. A veces las veo en inglés. Siempre hice subtituladas en inglés. Okay. Porque a veces hay palabras que no comprendo y así las busco. Excelente. Sí. Bien, Carlos. Eh, como usted pues eh, acaba de mencionar, en ocasiones lo más eh, complicado en el inglés en ocasiones es el vocabulario, porque nos cuesta aprendernos, ¿verdad? Cómo aprender las nuevas frases, porque lo podemos aprender, pero después se nos olvida. Entonces, mm. es importante que lo estemos practicando. Y me alegro que se sienta cómodo en las clases, ya que si usted ya lo notó, sí tenemos bastante vocabulario nuevo probablemente, y también practicamos bastante. El nivel intermedio es un poquito más... Eh, no sé si había hecho eh, básico, principiantes acá. Eh, fíjate que a mí me habían puesto en intermedio 3, okay. pero yo pedí que me pasaran a intermedio 1, pero en aquel tiempo me dijeron que no había, así que me pasaron a básico 4. Y de básico a intermedio sí he visto la diferencia, porque en básico 4 eh, sentí que se enseñaba un poquito más, pero no hablaban mucho, hablaban un poquito, pero no mucho. Y en intermedio sí veo yo que, que, sí. que se habla bastante. De hecho, en intermedio ya son casos más relacionados, si usted se fija, al área laboral, ¿verdad? Son sí, casos bien. para que ustedes puedan expresarse en el área laboral. Eh, de hecho, pues, el propósito principal es ese, que usted hable, porque es más speaking, ¿verdad? Y uh -huh. los temas son un poquito más de los que quizá ya se vieron anteriormente, solo se refuerza un poquito más. Sin embargo, uh -huh. sí es enfocado más que todo en speaking, en que usted hable. Ahora, eh, este, me, me alegra también que en su tiempo libre usted pues vea películas y lo haga en inglés, porque una de las cosas que debe de hacer es buscar usted tener el, el ambiente bilingüe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En su teléfono, en su computadora, todo tiene que estar en inglés, su Facebook, su Instagram, todo lo que usted tiene, tiene que estar en inglés, porque de esa manera usted se va a ir acostumbrando a leer el, el, el idioma y también a poder escribirlo, porque en ocasiones, como no lo vemos seguido, como se escribe cuando queremos escribirlo, todavía cometemos ciertos errores que tal vez eh, podemos evitarlo si tuviésemos nuestras aplicaciones en inglés, porque de tanto verla se nos queda. Ahora, uh -huh. le, le recomiendo que lo haga, que intente poner todo en inglés, para que pueda mejorar un poquito más, ¿ok? Hasta el momento de los temas que nosotros hemos visto, ¿tiene alguna pregunta? Mm, no, yo creo que no. Porque, bueno, hay cosas que, por ejemplo, son nuevas para mí, como por ejemplo este tema del fans. Fans Boy. Yeah. Ajá, ese sí, ese sí lo había visto, pero no así como, como se lo explicó. Okay. Ajá, qué sí. cosas que entiendo más, ajá, sí, ahí sí. No, yo creo que preguntas así no, no tengo. Bien, Carlos. Um, ahora dijo, I have never hiking. Ok, so en ese caso puede decir, I have never gone hiking. O puede decir, I have never hiked. Ah, uh, hiked. Como verbo, hiked. Como, ajá, correcto. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yes. Ah, ok. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Eh, bien, mi feedback para usted, pues, es que lo he notado súper participativo y creo que es una de las cosas que le quiero mencionar que esa es la actitud que debe de tener, ¿verdad? Eh, aprendiendo el idioma, lo veo súper interesado y eso pues agrada bastante. Eh, siempre está pendiente, siempre está queriendo participar. Tal vez en algunas ocasiones por el internet tenemos como ese, ese inconveniente. Sin embargo, pues eh, veo que siempre está bien activo en la clase y eso pues es súper bueno. Y le quiero agradecer por tener la responsabilidad y también de tener el deseo de participar. ¿Verdad? Eh, siga así, siga así, estudie, no se desanime, mire que al final pues eh, el inglés a veces pues nos cuesta un poquito más a algunos y es de años, ¿verdad? No es que de la noche a la mañana usted vaya a aprender, eso no es así. En ocasiones pues tenemos que 
estudiar día tras día tras día sin, sin, sin cesar, ¿verdad? Sin, sin decir no, hoy no, no, hoy sí, aunque sea un audio, aunque sea un audio, Carlos, antes de dormirse, escúchelo, aunque sea un audio, porque eso va a ir incrementando también sus habilidades de escucha, ¿ok? Entonces, y también el vocabulario, cuando usted escuche el vocabulario, inconscientemente usted va a decir, ¿qué es esto? Y vaya a buscarlo al diccionario, no se quede con la duda. Entonces, eh, de mi parte, pues decirle que siga así, no se desanime, continúe con todos los cursos que de ahora en adelante va, va a estar tomando, ya que ya comenzó con el intermedio, luego intermedio 2, y así va a ir avanzando. Media vez usted sienta, cuando siente que es más complicado, pues entonces eso es señal de que va avanzando, porque ahí usted se tiene que retar un poquito más para decir, ok, eso lo veo difícil, pero no me voy a rendir, no voy a desertar, voy a estudiar más. Eso tiene que Bien. ser lo que debemos nosotros, pues, um, incentivarle a usted, ¿verdad? Que no se vaya a desmotivar si en algún momento, pues, siente que las cosas difíciles, ¿verdad? Falta bastante tema todavía por qué cubrir. Sin embargo, eh, le quiero mencionar de qué excelente actitud ha estado súper participativo y eso es muy bueno, ¿sí? Ah, ok, gracias. Ok, Carlos. So, ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, algo más que agregar antes de no. que nos vayamos? No, yo creo que sí, solamente. Vale, perfecto. So then, that was pretty much, ok, un gusto, cualquier cosa usted me puede comentar, si tiene algún problema en la plataforma, también me puede comentar, mándeme un mensaje a mi número de WhatsApp y yo con mucho gusto le voy a dar seguimiento, ok? Ah, oh, muchas gracias. Ok, nice to meet you, Carlos, and I hope you have a good night. Ok, take care, see you back tomorrow. See you. Ok.